when you're in Arizona, keep drinking, keep drinking. You see cats drinking, she lives here. It's, you're not in Kansas anymore. You gotta keep drinking. Just sitting here is using up. Now there's a chipmunk. <laughs> Right? Oh, you just missed him. <laughs> Super cute. They're all showing off, Kelsey. I don't know. <laughs> you got a bunch of hams here. You ready, Timothy? All right. Okay. Yep. Good. All right, good. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a backtracking uh, gratitude meditation, and then we're gonna go deeper, okay? So this meditation has two meditations, all right? Ready? Here we go. Let's start with 20 breaths, okay? <laughs> and we once a day, I'd like you to do the seven limb puja. If, you, if you're not sure, ask Kat. Okay. So please take one uh, piece of food or in here at Diamond Mountain, we've all, in the morning, we all get a green drink or a ju fresh juice and pick, pick something, a juice or some piece of bread or rice or whatever. Who brought it to your home or to the temple here? And thank them. Try to imagine what they look like. Then imagine where they brought it from, maybe a store. And try to imagine this people working to put the food out on the shelves for you. They are working all day, hard work. Somebody took your money. Uh, 
Somebody made the money, somebody made the paper money, somebody made the credit card, somebody did the work for the programming for the payment online. Hundreds of people maintaining that. Somebody brought the vegetables or fruit uh, from the farm to the store. I used to do that work in a truck and <clears throat> in college and uh, it's very difficult work. Somebody harvested that, those vegetables or fruit. Somebody picked them for you, packaged them. Extremely difficult work. Somebody watered the field. Somebody fertilized it. Somebody plowed it. Somebody cleared it. We, we owe them already our time and our body. They have a right to some of our time. They have some right to what we do with our body. The thought to thank them, the thought that they have a right to some of my time also has its history. And this is a second meditation that I'd like you to do today. This idea to think about the idea that someone, that other people might have an equal right to some of my time. How did that idea start? You know, what's the lineage for that idea? So, oh, well, I heard it uh, from the alarm room. And then I'd like you to trace mentally, not physically, the, the train of thoughts that led you to this point in time mentally. You know, your mind is considering today the possibility that other people already have a right to your time, that we already owe them some of our time, if, if we respect the idea of people's rights, that everybody has certain rights in this world, then those people already have a right to some of your time because they are feeding you. They are giving you their time and they are making your clothes and they are making your house and where did this idea come from in the first place? Who said they have an equal right? Why am I hearing this right now? Oh, well, I heard about this Lam Rim. Okay, and then you had a thought, right? Yeah, I was thinking uh, I'd like to hear that chorus. I'd, I'd like to hear more about that. And then, well, what were you thinking before that? Oh, I, I was, Curious, I was looking around. Uh, I feel like uh, there's improvements I could make in my life. I, I heard about this Buddhism stuff and Lam Rim stuff. And it, where, where did that thought come from? Well, I, I guess uh, when I was in college, I, I heard about Buddhism. I, I wasn't learning it, but I heard about it. And I was thinking about it. And it, well, what happened before that? Well, I was 
thinking to go to college. I was thinking to go that there. Then what? What happened? Oh, well, that come from my family. Uh, when I was thinking about my my mom and dad used to say about uh, going to college, and 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 then that was sort of an extension of my grade school times. And and I remember thinking about history and about the rest of the world in my grade school times. I can remember those thoughts. I can remember the thoughts of going to the first classes in my school. I can remember especially things that went wrong in school and I remember how I felt and and I remember being curious about the books and about people, what they had to teach. And I remember uh, the first days before I was old enough to go to school. And I remember what it was like to be with my mom or my dad, my family. And I remember things we talked about and thoughts I had tracing back my mental process. I remember a day in my crib, touching a blanket and feeling how soft it was and being attracted to the softness. I I remember thinking about the softness. So what I'd like you to do is two different meditations today. One is physically uh, pick something you ate, something you wore, something you drank, a house that you stayed in and trace it back to the people who made the materials, who, who planted the, to the people who passed on the knowledge of building houses for 50,000 years and, and thank them, go back and find new excuses to thank more people. Thanking is a very healthy happiness creating exercise. And then I want you to notice in a second meditation today, and by the way, that should be your fresh time. So those of you who've done retreat, you know there's a prime time of day and you know there's a dull time of day. So prime time, for me, it's mid-morning. Trace it back, trace back your thoughts and see how far back you can go. And if you work hard, you can trace back to the, to the few years after you were born. You can trace back to uh, when you were an infant, a baby. It's possible to trace your mind stream back. And then eventually you can break through uh, the current life and go back into the darkness of the mushroom places uh, before this birth. It's possible to trace your thoughts go in a flow. You never stop being aware. Uh, For all time, you will be aware. You have a recording in your mind of past lives. You just haven't tried to access it. So while you're working on tracing back your house or your food or your clothing and being grateful. Then as a deeper meditation, when, you, when you're feeling fresh, trace back your thoughts and see if you can trace your thoughts back. And that's a very, very deep meditation and it has big, big, uh, impact on being able to see emptiness okay the exercise of tracing your thoughts back and you'll get better and better at it it's it's the first day it's kind of clumsy it's like trying to ride a bicycle and then after a week you should be much better at it and that has a lot of power in being able to see emptiness directly So we're gonna do two different kinds of backtracking meditations. One is a gratitude backtrack. 
based on a, a piece of fruit or, or a house or a car. And then the other one is a parallel meditation where you backtrack your thoughts and try to see what thought came before the last one. You, you can't trace back every single thought, but you can trace back with gaps. You know, you can say, oh, I had this thought 10 years ago and I had this thought 12 years ago. And, and then if you practice, you can work back before this life. And it's a lot of fun because you, you remember all the Dharma thoughts you had. Okay, open your eyes, take a stretch, take a drink. Timothy, any announcements or? Yeah. See you tomorrow, 6 a.m. World Central Time, which is Bowie, Arizona. And it's fun to be with you guys. And thank you for coming online. I can see your smiling, beautiful faces. And uh, thank you. And especially thank you, Francisco and all the staff. Uh, thank you for working so hard, especially translators. And we'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Thank you, Gesh Michael, for this beautiful teaching. For those of you who are inspired to continue to learn and grow, please join the platform where you will find a lot of resources and lectures for you. Don't forget to join our virtual Gompa. And if you want to bust your seats, we can invite you to lead one. They are both in both tracks, so you can find all the information on your platform. And thank you for the amazing volunteers who work tremendously every day to serve you online in multiple languages. So thank you so much for all the volunteers. And thank you for the participants for joining us today. And see you tomorrow on day three at 6 a.m. Arizona time. Thank you so much.